honorable sisters, brothers, and friends. I, um, if I was a priest, I guess I'd say uh, I'm old Father Joe. Uh, I'm a preacher, so I guess I say I'm a, this is the old preacher. I um, thought I had it real good sequentially and honest and straightforward, but I got uh, says knocked off the air here about halfway through my presentation. So I will try again and again and again until I think I have this video that will be up for view and challenged by anybody. I speak as the main survivor of my father's family. Experimented on, thus they were actually practiced and they were genocide was used on my father's family. By the Kremlin insane King George, Queen Hoover, not democracy, hypocrisy. Now, I think I have to, as a human being, say what I could do to help those who are being murdered and actually it's genocide by the Zionist Israel's practicing genocide against those people of, uh, of Gaza and uh, Palestine and of uh, the uh, neo-Nazi or neo-cons uh, murdering those of the eastern Ukraine. And then it comes up about sanctions. Now the issue of sanctions. I define sanction, an action that is taken or an order that is given to force a country to obey international laws by limiting or stopping trade with that country, by not allowing economic aid to that country, etc. Notice the key there is international laws. And of course, you can't be like the Time Magazine or cover and the fella that owns or runs it was the one that was in um, broadcasting from uh, Europe going into Eastern Europe propaganda. And then he says, well, we can't have a hippie singer, the man of the century for the 20th century. So he picks Einstein. Einstein, it's known as a plagiarist. That's the way that fella did it. And now, so they're vilifying immediately. You know, you have to have proof. And from what I understand, uh, the ones in charge, um, Malaysia, they logged the flight plan. And if they didn't log it, who did? to go, not the way they usually go, but go the entire length of Ukraine, which is in a, uh, is, is sending planes and, and rockets and so forth into uh, and bombarding the Eastern Ukraine. And they deviated towards the Ukraine. And then a second time deviated right over the war zone. And I had to say, does this pilot want to come down lower to see what's to see this war down there? That's kind of dangerous. Um, uh, an actual competent pilot shouldn't do that. But no, the Kiev killers told him what to do over to Ukraine, and that's what he did. So. The pilot actually didn't, he followed orders, but a pilot, especially not being a Ukrainian, is like a captain of a ship. Do you understand? So, but they, uh, like Time Magazine and what they're thrown out. Ah, uh, golly. Now, 
the the U.S. with Britain faked intelligence reports, so then they could smash Iraq, and we all know about those fake reports and all the people they killed and how to mess. Well, the Zionists, Israel wanted to do the same to Iran. And it kept saying, United States invade, United States invade. Uh, we're going to bomb every day. Uh, we're going to bomb. They wanted to smash Iran like they smashed Iraq. The main, being, main reason being that Netanyahu is what I call a fellow, is another one he can knock out that wants a Palestinian state. Do you understand what's going on? In the U.S. gives Israel 96% plus or minus of the military force to do that. So they would have done that only Russia helped save Iran from becoming another smashed, ruined mess. Now, fast forwarding the powerful USA shadow government. Top leaders, of course, are the joint military staff, the, the directors of intelligence agencies, Chuck Schumer, John McCain, who wants to do rush up to that Russian border, especially in uh, the eastern Ukraine. Uh, and uh, we have uh, Joe Biden now is running there to Ukraine. And and then the next day or two, they go with forces. Although they said they would have, uh, they wanted peace. Next day or so, they go in forces to smash the people of the East, Eastern Ukraine. Then there's that neo-Nazi, oops, Secretary General of NATO forces, Andres Fog Rasmussen. He constantly, for the last 10 years I've known, constantly trying to get up to that Russian border, now especially in eastern Ukraine, which knifes into Russia. That's their immediate goal. Now, the crazy Anglo-U.S. Israeli provocateurs are zoning in on the natural enemy. What? That's their mentality. And the strong man that stopped them in Iran. Do you understand what's going on in Time Magazine cover and so forth? You know, it's a Jewish owned publication and others. So they figure they have the numbers. So they will be able to force things the only way that the U.S. wants to have it. Of course, it's their further payoff of and their dollar dominance so they could dominate. This preacher has exposed the angle U.S. Israeli provocateurs. The videos are for view and challenge on the YouTube. What can this preacher or any preacher say or do? My policy is present the true facts. Those for above and the and expel genocide practicing Zionist Israel out of the UN. Put sanctions on Israel for war crimes and practicing genocide. Unless they at least sign that they will not use weapons of mass destruction. The whole world is signing that, but Israel says no. They're going to decide about the use of nuclear weapons. They either sign or are not in the UN. They put sanctions against them. That and their practice of genocide. Now, the use of UN troops. The U.S. should take the lead to have the use of UN troops to stop that egotistical murdering maniac Netanyahu. And in the Ukraine problem, the problem occurred when those in the western Ukraine knew they couldn't take all of the Ukraine in the upcoming election. What did they do? Led by the provocateurs, they forcibly smashed and took over the western Ukraine. The people of the eastern Ukraine don't want to be under the criminal gangs 
the Kiev killers of the Western Ukraine, and they have the votes for their Eastern Ukraine, the Republic of Eastern Ukraine. And they are, quote, Republic of Eastern Ukraine. Please note, if Zionist Israel can say that they can have and have killed foe and friend, the U.S. monitoring ship and others, because they say they are encroached on their land, and it's not their land. Uh, so if the Zionists can say and do that, then I suggest that if any nation or group that encroaches on the Republic of Eastern Ukraine land, and it is their land, uh, you better ask their permission and not encroach, because they have the right to defend themselves and invite any help from any source in doing so. Look again at the definition of sanction. I and others have proved with the U.S. backing Israel, Zionist Israel and Western Ukraine, Kiev killers, in spite of the majority of the people of the world protesting, and with the U.S. backing the war crimes and genocide uh, Zionist Israelis, they should have, they should be sanctioned. Uh, all right, Netanyahu brought before, bring that Netanyahu before an international law tribunal in The Hague. And domestically, the Republicans take the lead, stand up, and Democrats, and say they're impeaching Obama because he secretly is backing a nation that practices genocide. To all of us that say, yeah, that's the truth, God bless us.